don't over improve the property. And that is probably the biggest rookie mistake we see people make all the time is they renovate the house according to what they would want if they lived there. And if you're in this for a business, you want to make sound business decisions. And guys, I, I, I am the first to admit, like I would like to just make the whole house Pinterest worthy because I'm a designer and like my brain goes that direction. Y yes, but, it does. But I, I've gotten very, very good at knowing not when to take it too far because that's just gonna cost in your on your bottom line. You know, you might want granite in your house and that's fine if it's your house that you're living in. But if you're doing a flip, maybe the house doesn't need granite. Maybe you can get away with a laminate countertop or, you know, lower end appliances. You don't have to put, you know, a Thermador oven in and, you know, a sub-zero refrigerator and that sort of thing. So don't over improve it. You know, the house doesn't need a screen door if, if there's not one already there. Maybe you want a screen door because you like the breeze, but leave that to the homeowner after they buy the house. So that's, that's, I could go on and on with that list of stuff. So what you do want to do though, is base your decisions on the comps around the neighborhood. What are they selling for and what kind of features do they have? And one thing that we've always done is we've tried to make our houses a little bit nicer than the comps, especially if you're in a really competitive market. Um, it, and that way, when people do go to see the house, your house is set apart, but don't go overboard. That's really, really important. And that's a big mistake we see people make, people make a lot.